Welcome to Inside Politics. I'm Chris Varco of the Calgary Herald, joined by business columnist Stephen Ewart and political columnist Don Braid. Gentlemen, we're on the precipice of another royalty review. The last one in Alberta was in 2007, but Rachel Notley promised last year during the election campaign that she would do one. The results will be coming out on Friday. Stephen, from the world of business, what are you going to be watching for tomorrow? Uh, an end to the waiting game. First off, this uh, royalty review has been a little later than had been expected. Now we're going to see what the Premier does with oil prices so low. Uh, what happens on royalties at this point may be academic because there's just no money in the system. But how she incents new activity, new industries in this province, uh, natural gas and crude oil, I think that'll be more interesting to the industry. And then possibly somehow something to do to spur drilling. What do you think the keys are for her, though, to, for this to be a success and for the industry to, to walk away um, satisfied, probably not happy, but satisfied is probably you know, the best they can hope for? I would think probably do no harm at this point in terms of the traditional uh, industry and what's going on with the conventional. As for that ability to add value to things like uh, bitumen and potentially do more upgrading there or to take petrochemicals and to incent some opportunities for new industries entirely, I think they would like to see that. There may be some shovel-ready projects that could help. So that to me would be where she could really add value and then not make things worse on the drilling side. So, Don, Stephen's talking about do no harm in the world of the oil patch, but I guess for Rachel Notley and her NDP government, it's do no harm to her coalition, which includes seats in Edmonton, seats in Calgary, and, and a few seats, obviously, in rural Alberta as well. What does she have to do to make this a success politically? Well, um, she has to keep her promise, which is to review royalties and maybe even tinker with them or say they will in 2017. That's important to her base. It's important to the unions who keep saying that the... Uh, the system hasn't been treating uh, the Albertans fairly, uh, but but mainly calming the wise. Look what this week has been like. Wow, we've had Danny, Danny Cordero in, in Montreal fighting with Brian Jean. We've had Trudeau come down with a whole new pipeline program, and now we've got a royalty review coming up. I mean, what's next? The, the, the great general interest in Alberta is to keep the waters calm. Premier's already said she won't raise any taxes. If she can look to do some good for the economy, she will indeed, indeed score a hit, but just not doing any harm, as Steve said, is, is crucially important to her. On the other hand, you know, they have done everything they said they were going to do. They made promises in the election campaign. They choose to think that everybody wanted all that stuff, and they've been doing it. So maybe this is going to be a little more dramatic than common sense would suggest. So I asked Stephen this question from the world of business, but define success for me for Rachel Notley when she walks out of the uh, hotel in Calgary tomorrow and unveils those rights. What does success look like for the NDP? Well, success is that people aren't madder than they are already <laughs> at, the, at this government. Success is going back to the office and finding out that oil has hit $40 a barrel instead of uh, 34 or 29 or something like that. Uh, I, I think success today is, is no further damage and, uh, and a, sense, a sense of calm, a sense that the, the NDP has kept its promise not to do harm with this. this well, well, I think we all remember what happened in 2007 with the infamous words, our fair share, which was what the Stalmac review came back with. I guess we're not expecting a lot of that kind of talk tomorrow, but everyone's going to be watching. Thanks, gentlemen. For sure. Thanks.